Hey guys, Del Colton with your fishing report for Bull Shoals Lake. Today is Wednesday, May 8th. Lake level is currently at 662 and rising. Table Rock opened the floodgates on us, so it's coming up with the rains that we've had. Water temp's about 69 degrees, give or take, where you're at in the lake. I've seen it in the upper 70s. If you get in some of that dirty water in the back of the creeks, it's definitely a lot warmer once the sun comes out. Uh, but I feel like we had a good spawn this year. At least the lake level didn't drop during the spawn. And this year, everything's a little bit different than it's been the past decade or so. Uh, with the lake coming up now, there's not any accessibility issues. You can still get the boat in the water. It's not that high as of yet. So, and the bass fishing's been pretty good. So, uh, bass are, I'm going to say, mostly post spawn at this point. There's still some fry garters on the beds. Uh, and we may get another wave with this next move. But all in all, I think most, the big majority of the fish are, are done spawning. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to approach it because it's changing by the daily. And May is typically, you know, post spawn. These fish are moving back. So check back out from the spawning pockets. Uh, I'll go over some of the different things that have been working for me. Uh, but every day you're going to have to fish the conditions with these fronts coming through on the daily. One day seems it's blowing 30. It's windy again today uh, we got storms and then a high pressure day you're definitely going to have to work for them but if you get out early there's, uh, there's a little shad spawn going on if you can find it uh, the swim bait and the fluke those are catching some fish right now um, you're going to have to get up early to find that bite. And once the sun gets up, it's it's done so, guys. But the shad will show themselves. Uh, if you got if you got that uh, front looker on your boat, that's going to definitely catch you a few. But if you do, if we do get that runoff, we do get rain, you want to fish the backs. There is some fish back there. Spinner bait, chatter bait, and the stained water. That, that'll get you a few fish, but you need to have the right conditions to go and do it. May is also another time of year where top water starts coming into play. I'm starting to catch a few on the Lucky Craft Gunfish and a wake bait. Uh, that bite should get better as we warm up. May is typically going to be the the popping off the top water we did have a real good bite two weeks ago and then we had the fronts to move in and kind of shut things down but uh, if you're going to go in to flip the bushes there's still some fish in there those fry garters they haven't been the right ones have lately but there's some in there you can throw a beaver style bait in there you can throw a senko uh, those are catching some fish if you're in the stained water and you want to fish the points coming out of the spawning pockets or the ledges, uh, a shaky head and a jig is working. The If I had to pick a magic number, guys, it would be about 15 foot for that. Um, and then last but not least would be just the old Ned rig. Those... Secondary points coming out of the spawning pockets with bushes. Those seem to be the deal. Uh, if you've got wind, you, you do want to chase the wind. The wind is going to help. It's going to be your friend. I know it's tough when it's really blowing, but if you're not in it, a lot of times you're not going to get bit. Guys, it's getting warm. May, a couple of weeks will be Memorial Day. Starting to see some looking me's out on the boat, out on the lake. So uh, get out and enjoy it. Uh, if you're looking for a weekly update, I do a, a fishing report that I post to Game and Fish's website. I also put it on Del Colvin Fishing 
on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Be safe. See you on the water.